What is up guys? Welcome to today's episode. It's Sunday. We've been driving for, Matt's been driving Wait. for six hours. Uh, we've been making really good time. Matt's a freaking trooper. I don't know how he's been driving this long. Um, yeah, so super fun time in the car, guys. Looks like nobody's home. Hello? Mom? Are you asleep? All right, so made it back home. Um, I've had a really, I guess, relaxing day at home, which is probably all that I need, all that I want when I'm home for just like a very short period of time like this. Got a bunch of work done. I had this essay for econ, uh, or this paper for econ that I had to get done, and some homework for econ um, that I had procrastinated on a lot this past week. And I obviously didn't get much done when I was in Philadelphia, but I cranked it out today. That's what I've pretty much been doing all today. Um, and even though I waited till last minute, like, I got it done in advance, like, proof it. I feel pretty good about it. So, um, yeah, I've pretty much just been chilling. I went to Mitchell's again, which um, I was talking to my friend Juliet, and she claimed that I'm a bad person for going 15 minutes before Mitchell's closed, but I just think I'm a loyal customer. Um... Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I've worked in the restaurant business before, so like I know what it's like for people to come in like 15 minutes before closing. Um, but I will say it's a little different considering Mitchell's I'm in and out in five minutes and like there's n really no cleanup associated with my order. Anyways, um, I'm still very glad I went. It is so hard for me to say no to Mitchell's. I don't think you guys understand. If you know me in real life, you probably know that. But Mitchell's ice cream from Cleveland, Ohio is just... I guess my guilty pleasure, it is the end-all, be-all of ice cream, of dessert. It is phenomenal. Something about coming home this time, yes, that is a giant recreation of my face that I painted my senior year of high school. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go. What's weird about coming back now, maybe it's just because it's just for a very isolated amount of time, like I'm here for less than a day in total. Um, it feels like doesn't feel like this is my room as much anymore. Um, and like it still is, like all these trophies over here and all these bobbleheads that I've gotten at sporting events, like I could tell you about each one of them, where I got all of them, like all those medals and stuff up there and like my cords from graduation, my closet over here, like it's still mine, right? But like, I don't know, it feels weird to be back at this time. Maybe because it's just like such a random visit, like I'm not, I'm not like in the mindset of like, oh, I'm going home. Um, but maybe that is something to be said about like, my transition into high school, or from high school to college. Um, I gotta go shopping, which I think we're gonna do tomorrow morning. I'm just gonna take this episode and continue it tomorrow. I'm gonna be standing right here, dressed hopefully differently, and um, it'll be the morning when I'm gonna go back to school. So, gotta say I'm grateful for a quick stop home. Oh, grateful? You know what I'm grateful for? I'm grateful for my dad's cooking. I had some salmon. They at my dining hall at school, they serve salmon every now and then, and they have salad there, and they have rice there, right? But like, like nothing compares to that, that home cooked meal, that real salmon, and that real rice, and that real salad. Maybe I'm a little too picky, but like, I'm so grateful for that. Anyways. Okay. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to a continuation of today's episode. Well, I am tired, but we got a big day ahead of us because we're going to the airport so I can get TSA pre-checked. I think we're going shopping, and then I gotta get to school. Now, I am officially, well, I guess I'm not officially, but I'm in the process of becoming TSA pre-checked, which is super handy. Um, it was really easy to do. It took like... They just took my fingerprint and stuff. Like I said, I'm not officially a TSA pre-checked. I guess they have to do all the background checking now. But um, always fun being in the airport. And always fun seeing what I have told people about and what I love telling people about is the best garage ever. Um, so at the Cleveland Hopkins Airport, there's this garage next to the, like, the main terminal garage. I don't know. Um, and why it is the best ever is because 
most of it is electronic, so like when you make a turn, there's a little sim or a little ticker that tells you how many spots are open if you go that way and how many spots are open if you go that way. And then also, as you're driving, there are lights along the side um, where cars are parked. So it tells you if it's red, that means the car's parked there. If it's green, that means the spot's open. So you're just looking for the green light above all the other cars. So you don't have to really think about looking for a spot or like being in a bad spot, like where you didn't see a spot until the last second, you have to reverse, but there's people behind you, that kind of thing. Like, it's very, very simple. It's how every garage should be, and I don't know why every garage already doesn't have that, because it just makes life so easy. But now, we're, so we're going to Columbus. Are we going shopping? Uh, yeah, we got, uh, if we have the time, we're gonna try and uh, stop at the new uh, outlet mall. Okay. Is that in Easton? No, it's uh, Delaware. 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 We're going Delaware. to Delaware. The state? So successful trip shopping, I'd say. We got what I wanted, some shoes. Um, gonna rock these today, probably. What is this? Welcome back. What is all this? In Jello. I'm just ashamed. I, also, I thought it was like I thought it was like rusted. That's pretty funny, but I just like wish it was better. You're <laughs> That's awesome. All right, so I'm back in room 76. Um, <clears throat> I was gone for what like three days, I guess. It seems like a bomb went off in here. You guys saw. Of the jello and then um, the so my flag is upside down and then there's a picture of the, that little dot right there is a picture of a family photo of the Ohala's Nathaniel um, so that's just great and my roommate said that there's two more things that they did to my room or my stuff that I haven't found yet so that's just you know that's just dandy um, we're excited to try out these shoes I was talking with <coughs> Claire, and she says that these are Clark's, well made and everything. So love that. I'm out of frame. Also rocking my uh, my sweater that I got in Philly. Look at that. Two vlogs in one day. Hopefully, I'm gonna get a third done today, um, which isn't saying much because I'm so far behind. But it's a good sign that I'm getting so many done. Um, I had work. Obviously, I've been working on this stuff. I had work. And then now we're going to Ann's because we're helping Ann film. I, oh, I have like I was like, where's my camera? I'm talking to my camera. Um, we're helping Ann film something for her, one of her film classes. I need my glasses. Filming the last shot. It's really intense. Why, huh? Is that a wrap? Did we just wrap? Did we oh, just wrap? Yeah, we might die. It wasn't oh. like this. But did we wrap? Yeah, we wrapped. Yeah. What else did you do in my room, punk? What else did you do in my room? Huh? Huh? What else did you do in my room? Come on. Come on. And then I was like, I rolled it down too. So take away the take away the dash and you got this. So I just was casual. I just like ran out, did some errands, came back, and I was just like thinking of something that Will or maybe Jack mentioned this weekend. They just started singing this like third grade musical song. I don't know. Like whenever I think of like fourth grade, it's exactly fourth grade. Um, I don't know if we did it in our elementary school, but I just started saying, "Go west, young man," and like I I don't. Just because I do random stuff all the time. And then Benny just turned to me with this look on his face like, what? 
why are you singing that? And like, in a, like a positive way. I don't know. He just like really had some flashbacks. I was scared. He was scared. Um, and then he started looking up <laughs> like the musical. No, like, I did. I did this exact musical in fourth grade. I remember it. Yeah. He's like, oh, like, like, where is that from? I was like, I don't know. Like, Will was singing this weekend. Not to get confused with Jen Wine's version of My Pony. Okay, good to know. But so now we're watching fourth graders sing. Um, So with that, I'm going to end the vlog right here. Thank you guys so much for watching. i got to say I'm grateful for my dad driving me back to Columbus. That was Clutch Dad. Um, he went out of his way to do that. And we got some cool shoes. I got some really happy about my new shoes. Um, yeah. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you have not already. And I will see you.